written and directed by Frank Barry. Michael Inside takes a look at how easy it is for people raised in lower income communities to get drawn into crime and the judicial system. We won't be able for it. It won't be as bad as you think. It will. <laughs> the film follows 18-year-old Michael McRae, who lives with his granddad Francis in inner city Dublin. Michael isn't a bad kid. He has seen what crime and drugs can do to people. His mother, having had died from an overdose, and his father is currently serving time in prison. He is going to school to get a better education, and he has a lovely girlfriend. But living where he does, he also hangs out with some bad kids, and he makes some naive decisions. So, when a friend asks him to hold on to some drugs, he does it. The next day, he gets a visit from the police who arrest him for possession of the drugs. The judge sends him to prison for three months in what she assumes will shock him into following the right path. However, we learn that once someone is inside the system, it can be very easy to get swallowed up by it. While inside prison, he is forced to grow up and to toughen up, as he is taken under the wing of David, who shows him the ropes and how to survive on the inside. Back on the outside, his grandfather is also being forced to pay for Michael's crimes, as the criminals he was holding the drugs for want their money, and Francis has to find a way to get it. When Michael gets in trouble, he stays supportive throughout. Daffy Flynn, as well, portrays Michael with a fantastic level of subtlety, to the point that we are not just seeing his thoughts and emotions, we are filling them with him. Frank Barry clearly knows his subject matter in this film, which is apparent from the opening sequence where we first see the people in the neighborhood. The accents and the slang used are perfect for inner-city Dubliners. Even the wardrobes are accurate. The kids, for example, walk around in sweatpants instead of jeans. The movie is not perfect and does have some flaws. The first is in regards to a plot hole such as how do the police know to visit Michael in the first place? Uh, unless I missed it, there is no line or mention of who told them that he had the drugs. Also, I might not have had a lot of interactions with the law, but I can tell you every interaction I have had, the police were not as nice and friendly as the ones in this film. Not in the U.S. and not here in Ireland. I get the feeling that Frank Barry is distorting that a bit to try and show city kids that police are not all as bad as they might believe. Also in the film, I'm not a fan of the extreme close-ups he uses throughout the film to tell the story. From a filmmaking point of view, I know why he did this. Barry wants us to feel what the characters are feeling, and it is easy to do with the performance of Flynn. But it feels a little overdone to me, and eventually the extreme close-ups begin to lose their impact. Frank Barry does an excellent job of showing us what life is really like for families in these neighborhoods and the difficulty that comes with getting out of them. The performances are top-notch, and I have a feeling that we will see Daffy Flynn showing up in many more films in the future. Also, Daffy or David or however you pronounce your name, my apologies if I'm mispronouncing it. Often, Irish names uh, are spelt quite differently than how they are pronounced. We've got to fight back in here, Michael. 